Hello Franklin, it's Monday. I'm Eric Stuckey, your city administrator. So it's time for the top three things you need, need to know this week. And in fact, this week we're really gonna focus on one thing in particular. Uh, the whole country has been impacted by uh, the incident that occurred in early in January in Memphis, related to the Memphis Police Department and Tyree Nichols' death. Uh, our police chief, Deb Faulkner, issued a statement over the weekend, got a lot of response. Uh, from our citizens about it, and we want to share that with you here today. I'm going to invite Chief Faulkner to come in. Uh, come on in, Chief. So uh, tell us a little bit about the statement you issued, what your, in, what your message is to the public, and uh, we'll go have a couple other questions after that. Well, I just wanted the people of Franklin to know that this is not like the Franklin Police Department. What we saw in those videos was shameless and atrocious, and um, I was actually in the office early Saturday morning and Sunday and officers would come in for one thing or the other and they would see my car and stop in and they were just hanging their heads. They were very concerned and quite frankly just totally taken aback by what they observed. And, and we know the damage that it does to the law enforcement community and that's just not okay. Our officers work extremely hard to build relationships with the people of Franklin. We want and have to have their trust in order to carry out our mission. And what impacts them impacts us because we're a part of the community. Um, anyway, it's, it's just a, it's a terrible situation. And I have a lot of friends in the Memphis area. I went to college there. I know the chief there. And I applaud her for taking um, swift action in the way she did. So our officers take an oath to serve and protect the community. We also support them with training and other, other elements in what they do. Talk a little bit about some of the things we do to ensure our officers seem, get the right instruction and guidance and how to work in the public and just how we manage those situations, especially as it relates to conflict management and de-escalation. Talk about what happens there. Our officers spend a lot of time in the classroom and also doing different scenarios where they're videoed and, and actually you know observed and and they get feedback on how well they handled um, a certain type of call that, that's thrown at them in a training um, scenario. Um, they, they work very hard at de-escalation. Some people call it verbal judo, but we not only use that in uh, particular hostage situations, but also psychological emergencies. And anyone who might be in crisis, it's, it's easier to try to talk to someone, uh, especially if they're not armed, and um, to try to find out what's going on with them and how we can best get them the uh, immediate attention that they need. Um, we do a lot of, um, we have a simulator where we can observe how officers respond to certain situations. Uh, it's a video interactive situation and then also on our range and our range house. Um, we constantly train, but you know, the most important um, uh, talent that an officer can have is the ability to engage verbally. Help and assist our citizens. Exactly. All right, so one of the other things we do is we track our interactions with the public. Talk a little bit about what we do in overall activity as well as uh, the very limited times when we have to have use of force. We track and carefully monitor that as well. So speak to that. We have um, an alert program that is um, sort of an automatic thing. If an officer has so many pursuits or um, opportunities where they have to fill out a, a use of force, where their sergeant documents a use of force. After five and a year, I get an alert, and sometimes even before that, depending on their assignment. But this goes through the chain of command, which means it goes from the officer to the sergeant, the lieutenant, captain, deputy chief, and to me, and also our lieutenant and professional standards. So a lot of years of law enforcement uh, experience reviews these to see if there's any patterns, whether the officer is constantly interacting and using force on a minority or a particular gender or sex. Um, it, it flags that and lets us know. So we respond to that to see if it's a training issue or disciplinary issue. And, and I receive those all the time and, and I spend a lot of time reviewing those as well as everybody in front of me. And if it's not to my uh, satisfaction, I send them back to make sure that they follow up on it. All right, so that really concludes what we're going to cover with you today. Our team is dedicated to serving the public overall as a city entity, but our public safety function and what we do in the police department is as important as anything we do at the city of Franklin, and we take very seriously 
our responsibility to serve, serve well, serve with uh, compassion, professionalism, and diligence, and our team does that every day. So I want to thank the chief and the men and women of the Franklin Police Department and wanted to give you some insight on what we do and how we uh, take those responsibilities so seriously. That's it for today. Take care and we'll see you soon.